Yo, what's up, guys? Axel Fox Ninja here. We are back in our video, and welcome to A Shadow Over Freddy's. Now, this game is a game that's supposedly short, and it's just like a point-and-click free roam game. And the reason I know about this game is because the developer of The Joy of Creation, which I played uh, uh, is the story mode one, and I didn't get very far in that. This. I think it, what, based off what the game it says, it's one night, and also you may notice in the background, it's all dark. That's because I wanted to find a horror game that would just be really scary and spook the heck out of me, you know. So let's just get in with new game. I tried to record Final Night 3, but, I mean, it worked, but it lagged like you wouldn't believe. Like it took, like, 20 seconds for the text to show up. Like, you just had the bar of text, and then it just had nothing on it for a few seconds. Well, it was all blurry at first, and I was like, oh. You know. Ooh. You wake up in a small, dark room. Laying down on a cold, checkered floor with your back against the wall, feeling like... Heck. <laughs> your mouth tastes like copper, and there's nothing here but the low buzz of a metal fan. But I know which fan it is. Uh, space... How do I progress? Oh, I... Gradually your eyes begin to open, muscles trembling as they try to stretch and contract. Your memory is foggy and your head throbs, failing to recall any information that might shed light on your current situation. Your body reacts faster than your brain, picking itself up off the floor using a desk nearby. You grab a light source and begin to look around to regain your bearings. A lifeless husk of a building reveals itself to you through the cone of the flashlight, dust and cobwebs lining every corner, crumbled up papers, cups, and black stains covering the floor, drips of water seeping through the rotten wood ceiling. Oh yeah, this is definitely after FNAF 1 then. The layout is familiar to you, but its walls aren't nearly as inviting or friendly. Your chest feels heavy with dread, much like a man to be hung at the gallows first coherent thoughts that enter your head urge you to leave as soon as possible. Yeah, that would be my first thought, too. Leave immediately before the shadows that have devoured this abandoned building come to consume you as well. Oh, Welcome to Frank Fazbear's Pizza. It's great to have you back home. Ah, so we might be playing as uh, Michael Schmidt. Or Michael Lafton, because apparently the same name. Five nights remain. I thought this was short. I might be able to only play a few nights of this then, guys. Because I don't want to break the atmosphere by just doing, playing it in light of day. Unless I get a chance to record it again. I just, it'll depend on how well the video turns out. Oh my. Oh, free. These instructions will appear every night before going out into the restaurant. Click on them to continue. Give you your flash, move your cursor to aim the flashlight at areas of interest towards the side of the screen. Pointing towards the side of the screen will rotate the camera. I need water. Wow. Okay. What was that? Yeah? Okay. Left click on an open path to move into adjacent rooms. Hostile presence is watching. Complete your objectives before 6 a.m. or you will be attacked. Please don't just be like a hug by Freddy. Otherwise, I'm <laughs> I might just... <laughs> I might just have a heart attack, guys. Oh, I do not like this. I immediately do not like this. Night one, find the exit. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's fading now, so I can do something. Oh, wait, will I just be in the office then? Where am I? Whoa. Okay, I'm out here now. I want to see the show stage, which is probably the dumbest thing to do. But hey, why not? It's like, oh. Yay. Also, I am holding a flashlight. Uh, sure, let's walk towards the glitchiness. Great idea. I see nothing. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, let's walk towards it. Right on the show stage. 
It's empty. Aw, oh, hello, little Freddy Plushie. How are you doing? Aw, oh, everyone's gone. I mean, guess that's kind of good, but that's still not good. I mean, it's not comforting. Oh, here's the bathrooms. Exit. Exit! Can I go? Please? Find an exit. Wait. If I found an exit... I hear the music box. And a lot of radio stack. What's that? Are those eyes? What happened? Oh, this is so creepy. Now I really regret playing this like this. I just gotta stay calm. Deep breaths. What happened? Can't I progress or anything? Ah. I can. You were pulled back to safety by a floating, featureless figure, standing before you with his eyes locked on your pale face. It looks like it wants to help you recover your lost memories. Okay. So it's a helping hand. It could be- It could be the puppet! The puppet! Uh, yeah, the puppet's okay. I mean, not in Final Nights 3, apparently, because it's a, uh, I'm, I'm Nightmare Puppet. I'm Nightmarian, but I'm even worse, because I have, like, I have, like, Edler scissor hand thingies. The Shadow offers you a, a story to clear your head. Will you accept? Yes, I need something to get, take my mind off this. Oh no, will I die? Uh. Hi. There once was a little kid who liked to play with his toys by his lonesome. Why is he alone? Why is he alone? He shall have friends. That's not nice. All you other kids, be become friends with this little kid, please. People watching the video do the same. Okay. Huh. Ah, it's blurred out. Oh, is that a doggo? He lived with his family on a small, peaceful house outside of town, surrounded by forestry. So the eyes are like the same that, of that was looking at me. I don't know. Oh, there's a dog. Oh no, he's taking his little robot toy. Oh, the dog's eyes aren't very good. Oh, no, I don't want to skip it. The Helm's backyard was his personal stage, where he played with his figurines of various shapes and sizes making plays which were acted out for his enjoyment alone. Although he was alone, he was content in living out his youth playing with the plastic friends his parents had gifted him with. That's, that would not make a person sane. Like, you, you hear about, like, books where people are trapped on abandoned island with only themselves. They are not, like, even if they had some kind of toys, they need more than one person to survive, or they will just completely lose it. Yeah, that because that's how stuff works apparently. There was a, there were, they were a small mannequin, hmm, bark firewoman like that, a stuffed teddy bear, porcelain dress up doll. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> a toy robot. I don't know. It's just dolls like that, like American dirt girl dolls, kind of creep me out sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. That just makes me really want to check behind me. <laughs> oh, a toy robot. Toy robot sounds the nicest. Stuffed teddy bear, that's also a cool thing. I remember when I was a little kid, I had... I mean, I still have it. It's a stuffed animal. It's like... It's a little dog... A little dog that I called Puppy. It's so cute. That was such a cute child. But one day, the family's pet dog stole one of the toys during his playtime. Into the woods, he excitedly ran away with the toy robe a lot, prompting the kid to chase after him to claim his friend. No, why would you do that? Wow, this, he looks aggressive. Dog, why do you do this? You were supposed to be nice. Why do you have to go into the woods? Annoyed by the dog's playful attitude, the kid caught up. Grabbing the toy from the thief's mouth, he began to pull. Oh no. Rip. 
Oh, to be young and carefree. A kid's dog playing... Oh, okay, so it is... I thought it would turn into, like, something really dark where Slender comes out of the woods, just, just takes the child and, like, explodes the dog. I don't know. For, that's a, oh, no, now my mind's even getting worse images in my head. But whatever. A kid's dog playing tug-of-war in the back garden of their house with no one to interrupt them. Seems like a, a wonderful memory, doesn't it? The dog, excited to be... To finally receive the attention it craved from the young... Master of the house refused to lose this game they found themselves playing. See, now he has a friend. I mean, okay, he also has parents, so. But if they worked a lot, that would also cause a lot of stress and problems for the mental problems on the young child, but whatever. Let's just call the person here young child. That's where we're just dubbing them. Toy, toy robot was almost free fr from the dog's mouth when. What? Uh, what? Relieved to have gotten his friend back, the kid wiped off the pool of drool off the toy robot off the bottom of his shirt. That scared me. That wasn't even anything bad. That was just... Sure. He walked back home, leaving the animal twitching helplessly on the grass with barely enough room left in its swollen neck to allow out a pitiful, dry howl. Okay, and I was feeling bad for the kid. No, no, please. Why would you do that to a dog? The kid, arriving back from out of the trees, positioned the toy robot back where it was on his, where it was on his makeshift stage, and continued playing. This is why you need to have friends when you're a kid. Like, please, like whatever you do, even if you're shy and introverted, make some friends. Trust me, it's better that way. Later that afternoon, the parents found the body of the dog. They buried it where it stood. Oh no! See, I'm such a huge dog person. I, eat. I love dogs, honestly. I mean, I also kind of love cats, but not as much as dogs, because dogs are just so... so warm and fluffy, and just... they... plus, dogs are more likely to help people, because cats... Cats, like, aren't really trained for anything. Dogs, what dogs can do is they can be trained by police officers to, like, help arrest criminals. Four nights remaining. I suppose I'm just gonna go as far as to when I can just... I suppose I'm just gonna die in this. Not in... I mean, in the game, yeah. Not in real life, that would, Oh. Oh, yay. Oh, yeah, that's also... Oh, is that the story? Of the dog... Each night your enemies become more aggressive. Where are my enemies? Why does the cupcake have no eyes? It's like Toy Chica, but the opposite. Oh, sure, let's go this way. Okay. A new presence has appeared in a restaurant. It hides in rooms waiting for you to pass by. Be careful of where you are going. Hold right click on open path to listen to sounds coming from adjacent rooms. The more time passes, the better you'll hear. I didn't hear anything. I too follow the music. Okay, so that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's just do this night and then it can be over. Cause oh boy. I can hear music coming that way. Yeah, I hear music. Okay, this is calming because at least I hear the music. Oh, it just led me to Pirate Cove. Okay, that is not something good. I heard bad sounds coming that way, so I'll go this way. Okay, this.
this way. Don't hear anything bad in particular. Something really satisfying about that. It's like the light into darkness. I don't hear anything coming from theirs. Backstage? Nope. Okay, there it is. I mean, as long as I don't hear, like, the sounds of the enemy going off, I think I'm good. What the? What? Can I click any of this? What the? Oh, I hate it when that flickers like that. I still don't hear anything bad coming from there, so. It's good. Ooh, hey, 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 be nice. It is the music box theme, aka my grandfather clock, which is the official name of it. Is it coming from the bathroom? I mean, that is pretty blatantly obvious. Whoa. Can I go in here? I don't see it anywhere. I mean, there's a... There's the employees only room. What if I click on the door? What can I click on? Hopefully you just won't attack me while I'm standing, that would be bad. Are those eyes? That makes me very uncomfortable. They're bo they board up pretty much everything, so I can't go anywhere. Okay, don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that, Bonnie. Ha. Oh. Oh. Ha. It's my it's my night over. Oh. If you were hold. Well, I couldn't move. I was trapped. Oh, great, their eyes there again. Oh. Well, I'm gonna quit to the minute, you guys. Jeez. I kind of now want to record this in a live day. Because that was absolutely terrifying. I really wish I did. <laughs> I had the idea of doing the Joy of Creation Reborn. I mean, that would have been scary, but that... Jeez, that jump scare. Like, it made me think, oh, oh everything's okay. Boom, Bonnie just gets you. <sighs> but anyways, guys, yeah. You can check this game out. Link will probably be in the description or anything. But, yeah. I really like how this game was played out. Like, everything. Like, how the story was and the middle intermission thing between night one and night two that, that was cool though the poor dog is still ugh. yeah <laughs> i don't know guys this is an insane game so i'll just pl i'll play it again if it does well well if the video does well i mean but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please spam that thumbs up with your thumbs up and subscribe me for some more awesome daily content and don't forget to share this video with a friend and hit the notification bell just because you want to see everything uploaded by me right and anyways i will see you guys later bye -o!